Welcome to Think Global Education Services. Today's topic is equations of motion at constant acceleration. We now examine motion in a straight line when the magnitude of the acceleration is constant. In this case, instantaneous and average accelerations are equal. At first, we can take the initial conditions, which is initial time, initial velocity. Initial time is taken as t equal to zero. Initial velocity is taken as u. And final time or a time after the motion is taken as t and velocity at that time is taken as v. Now we can find average velocity. Average velocity is given by V bar, which is written as change in position over change in time, which can be written as X minus X zero by two, where X is the position at time T, X zero is the position at, it's the initial position. We can also find out average velocity by using the initial and final velocities. So average velocity is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity over two. And acceleration is given as change in velocity over time, so that is final velocity minus initial velocity over time t. And from this, we can de derive the first equation for motion. So time multiplied by acceleration is equal to V minus U. So therefore, final velocity V is equal to U plus AT. So this is the first equation of motion. Now the second equation of motion is the derivation of the position. And right now we can consider position or displacement. We can consider the position at time T, yes, is equal to S0, that is the initial position plus average velocity multiplied by time. Now we already know what is the average velocity, which is this quantity. We can use this here. Therefore, position at time t or displacement at time t is given by initial displacement plus u plus v by two multiplied by t. And we already know what's the value of v. Therefore, u plus u plus at over two multiplied by t. So that will give us s zero plus this would be two u divided by two would be just u, and multiplied by t would be ut plus half at squared. This is the second equation of motion. And now the third equation of motion, derivation for that is Now we can find out what is time from this. So time t can be written as v minus u by a equal to time t. And our position equation is yes equal to s zero plus u plus v by two multiplied by t. And instead of time, we can use this equation. So that will give us V minus U by A. So now we can multiply this. So that will give us, now this is the difference of squares. Then we will get B squared minus U squared by 2A. This is yes. So now when we take LCM and rewrite it, we will get 2A is equal to 2A is zero plus v squared minus u squared. Now if you want v squared, that would be equal to u squared plus 2a multiplied by s minus s zero. So these are the three equations. Now, the we shall do problems 
using the three equation solution. We can take any one equation and then use it to solve the problems. So our problem is, how long does it take a car to cross a 30 meter wide intersection? after the light turns green and also the data which is given here is the car accelerates from rest at two meters per second squared. So this is the acceleration, which is constant. And the car starts from rest. That means initial velocity is zero. Acceleration is two meters per second squared. And the displacement that is given as 30 meters, so 30 meters is the distance the car has to travel. That is, if you consider this is the 30 meter wide intersection. Initially the car is here. Now the car has to cross this intersection and arrive at this position. And the question asks, what is the time taken for that journey? So we can write down the three equations of motion, which is V is equal to U plus AT. Yes, is equal to S zero plus UT plus half AT squared. And V squared equal to U squared plus two A times S minus S zero. So the question asks us to find time and the two equations which has time is, these are the two equations. But in this equation, we have only acceleration time and final velocity. We do not know what's the final velocity. So the only equation that we can use here is this one. So the initial position of the car, we can take it as the origin. So therefore S zero will be zero. So S is 30. So 30 equal to zero plus, and the initial velocity is zero. So the second term is zero plus half times A is the acceleration, which is two meters per second squared, multiplied by T squared, which is time squared, which is what we need to calculate. So we can cancel the terms. So from this, we will get time squared equal to 30. So time is square root of 30 seconds. Had square root of 30 seconds, which is approximately 5.48 seconds. And this is how we can use equations of motions to find any of the missing or unknown quantities. And these equations will only work at constant acceleration. If the acceleration had to change during the motion, then we cannot use these equations. Thank you for watching the video.